What's up again, London? Uh, Nigeria Chambers, Big Gold Belt Media. It's a pleasure to finally have a documented interview with you. <laughs> oh, man, I appreciate you, my brother. I appreciate you. Absolutely. Um, before we get into it, um, I, I gotta say, like, truly, truly, you're a stand-up guy. Um, for meeting you twice at Power Premieres, but there's one thing I know about you that I say every single time I get a chance to even mention your name. You not only love this franchise, but you love your fans. And seeing you interact with your fans, even when the night was very deep in the night and you still just took time to make sure you gave people love. I I, I was just so mind blown by that. The party was completely over and I still seen you interacting with folks. And I, I just had to give you your flowers for that, man. Oh, man, thank you, man. I, I appreciate it because, uh, I mean, you know, that's how people, sometimes we forget, man. We think we, we think that we just get to this place on our own and uh, I try not to uh, get detached from that. So I appreciate people. Appreciate it. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And I I love me some London White Tea Talk. That's my jam. But, uh, Come let's... on, buddy. Come <laughs> on. Hey, listen, I got a couple of questions about episode five. The first thing I want to get into, and I, I think you're going to really love this one. The scene with Marvin interacting with the dead body, it gave me classic martin vibes with the dog was that scene set up for you to improv i loved it and i saw you i just saw you in your element so i would love to know yeah. how that scene came about well you know what i well, we haven't seen it yet so you 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 guys know more than what we know but uh i would be i wouldn't be honest if i said that martin has influenced me in in, in ways man theatrically you know so they did. They let me just kind of mess around. And, and, you know, I know that Marvin has to get the body out the wall or whatnot, but I'm, I'm ready to see that scene. So, again, it's just me showing, even within the character of Marvin, I understand with this platform, I'm still showing people what London can do. Within, I'm, Marvin is just the face of what London is. And so that's why, you know, I, I always try to make sure that I keep these layers of, on Marvin. So he's not just, he's not just the mean uncle. He's not just the dude dealing with the chicks. But Marvin, you know, is comedically is going to find his way as well as a lot of touching stuff in this season as well for Marvin, that, you know, the vulnerable side. But yeah. I'm just really messing around with my range because I don't know who's going to see the episode. I'm like, <laughs> you know, so that was a fun scene. That was a fun scene, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. So let's talk about you and Tony. So as it is now, it seems like maybe you might have been over Tony. I know there's some legal ramifications between uh, Marvin and Tony, but it looks like he may not be quite done as we see him in episode five, kind of keeping an eye out for her, kind of seeing where her moves are. How could you how could you describe Marvin's and, and Tony's relationship, either describing it or sort of foreshadowing what's to come? You know, Marvin... And Tony, Marvin was dealing with her. It was just business. You know what I mean? Marvin's still charming, so and he's still a guy, so he gonna he gonna make it make the magic work with, with the woman, but he didn't he didn't like her. I, I tell women all the time, and it goes to my white tea talk. I'm sorry because I feel like I gotta sneeze, but <laughs> what happens is with guys, guys don't have to guys do not have to like a woman in order to deal with her yeah. on an intimate level. And that's what Marvin is. Marvin is just he's moving around using her to get what he got to get done and, and make the move. But also that's what happens when you deal with women on that kind of level. So just nefariously, he got to deal with the repercussions that come with that. And so mm. that dealing with her just, just because wind up, you know, having it, it caught him on the back end. And that's why he has to now deal with that because Marvin ain't used to being uh, disrespected in that I kind see. of I yeah. see, I see. Another character that everybody is waiting for, the iconic moment of when Kenya will have a face-to-face -face with Marvin. Now, how could you describe, again, potentially that relationship or foreshadowing things to come? And many are speculating that their fallout has a lot to do with prior drug usage. So a lot of people are just waiting for that moment, but what might you be able to say about what is to come with the two of them? I think with Marvin... And what people can expect um, is the fact that he, things got at some point things got to be got to be touched on if they're ever gonna try to bring any kind of clarity. Because the, the the main thing with with Marvin is trying to repair the relationship with his daughter, but also 
that means he, that means including the other parent and just getting it all cleared up. So they gotta have the, they gotta some tough conversations are gonna be had, but this is also part of Marvin trying to mature and 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 grow from his mistakes in the last season. So mm-hmm. he's working on himself. Part of working on himself is addressing his issues. Absolutely, as we see him address that uh with his therapist this episode in a way i did not think was going to go but it is interesting hey look i know you got a bunch of other people to talk to today i gotta really quickly say for the fans man we're very very happy that you address the situation with the number of cars that we see marvin uh driving uh as you mentioned on the crew has it podcast that was a fantastic interview um and we're rooting for you man you're one of my favorites uh characters and persons and i can't wait to see what's next man Thank you, my brother. I appreciate you and your, and your, and your followers. Thank you so much. Man. Absolutely. You take care, brother. Peace, brother.